Good evening all, and we are back to the UV25. Uh, just a little short um, programming um, guide demo on this. As you can see, I have my UV25. Um, I would have done this video a little bit later, but we've had people around and vacations and New Year and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, here we have the UV25. This beast of a thing, which weighs quite a lot. It's very chunky. Nice for the old sausage fingers down here. Anyway, let's uh, get straight into it and program it. Welcome. Frequency mode. Okay, so... The radio in its current state does not have any channels. Um, it will not... Frequency mode. See? Frequency mode. If I push and hold the home button, or the green button, if there was channels in this, it would take you to channel mode. But since it can't... Frequency mode. It stays in frequency mode, as it doesn't have any channels to do. So, let's just get my, U, my trusty CH340 connected. Oh, an interesting thing here as well. This may actually be waterproof. I'm not willing to test it yet, but that's all spongy. It's like uh, rubber instead of the usual hard connection type, so it's interesting. So it might actually be waterproof, although, as I say, I'm not willing to look at that yet. So I've got it hooked up. So let's fire up uh, the CPS. Now, the CPS this uses is basically the same as the uh, UV-20 to the UV5RH and the UV17 Pro. Not the UV17 or the UV17 Pro GPS, the UV17, which is T6 UV series, which here it is on my screen. And let's fire it up. Okay, so we've got it open. We go to the uh, settings. Ports. This time I have plugged into COM3. I've had a bit of a move around here in, in my little room. So we're on COM port 3 and we tell it to read and start. As you can see the little icon on the on the, the radio pops up. And it's finished. Okay, there we go. I told you there was no channels installed on this. We go to the VFO mode, however, it tells you what VFO it's currently set at. As you can see there. Any CTC as has any offsets or whatever else. Um, and we go to the functions. There's your squelch, the usual stuff, uh, which you're probably all used to by now. Uh, menu exit time, and let's make sure that the backlight stays on. There we go, backlight on all the time. It just makes it easier than this camera having to refocus every time the light goes on and off. So, how do you do it? Well, you can use this CPS here, and you just put in like, I don't know, whatever else, and a CTCSS, or whatever, and you can put it as a receiving, and whatever you want to do, you can change the high, high, medium, low, this is be a different video, uh, whether it's wideband or narrowband, whether it is in the, um, the scan function, or if it's not, Push the talk ID if you want to use it, and the usual, and put a name on the end here, yeah, like, I don't know, test or whatever. Okay, so, as you guys probably know, with the CPSs that come with the radios, they're rather limited in their way of importing and adding channels. However, this radio is supported under chip. So, let's, uh, let's jump across the chip. Close this and let's run into chip. Okay, now I'm currently running the latest version of chip as of today, which is the 1st of January. Uh, where is it? Far do I tell you what version it is? So I'm using that. So it's 2023 1223. Okay, so we go to download from the radio. As you can see, I still have it plugged in, still plugged in. And you see a COM port 3, the USB serial, the CH340, it's a Baofang, and I've selected UV17 Pro. Just to show you, if I select UV17, it will fail. 
if I select UV17 Pro GPS, it will also fail. If you select UV17 Pro, then it works. Okay, so we've now loaded the radio. As you can see, there is no memories currently set. There's the settings again. I actually like the way the CPS lays these out, but Chirp is much is a much better option to use in this case because it can be supported. <clears throat> so the easiest way to actually add channels to this radio is to go to radio and then we go to query a source. Now I'm going to use repeater book. It's asking me whereabouts. So I'm in Canada, yes, I'm in British Columbia, yes, I'm at a service, a distance of what's that? That's kilometers. Leave that away is the way it is. Now I are you on certain bands? Uh, this is a tri-band radio, and as of yet, I have not been able, able to unlock it to any like AMs and whatever. You know, like some of these some of these people out there have shown you the the hack to. I think it is default the UV five and the five RH to allow them to open airband and all that sort of stuff. Well, so far this hasn't worked on this radio, so I'm not even going to go any further onto that one. Uh, it is a tri-band radio, so it's two meters, one point two five, and seventy centimeters. So that's the only re that's the only repeaters I want. Uh, this is an FM only radio. It does not support DMR. So I'm not too sure what digital mode convert to FM is. Dual mode digital repeaters that support analog will be shown in the FM. Okay, I'm not going to that side of things. So that's what I've done. I've selected it. I'm in Canada, British Columbia, uh, within 50 kilometers, and I'm going to say North Vancouver. That's the area I live, if I spell it right. And we click OK. And there we go. It's the usual, it's the usual uh, repeater sort of information. Um, maybe one of you guys can uh, help me out with this later on. This one here, it comes up as a cross, a tone mode cross. I'm still learning this. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Um, also this one as well, TSQL. So, yeah, anyway, I'm going to import it. This one is wrong. This one errors out. Um, now, I think it's because of the way it's been entered in, into the, maybe it's the, um, the repeater book database. So it doesn't like the stepping it's using. Uh, however, if I type 440.45 directly into it, it works. Anyway. What we do is, so this is the all the repeaters from my area, so I'm going to click on that. I'm going to push and hold the shift key and click on 11. And I collect them all selected. So I go copy and I jump across into this one, which is the 21, even though it's a 17. It's using the 17 because that's the profile I've picked. And then we go to memories. As you see, there's none, so I right click on here. I go to paste and I get a warning. Some memories are incompatible with this radio. Number eight, unable to find the supported tuning step for 440.4593. That's a very specific frequency, and I think that is a. I think that's an error, uh, possibly with um, the repeater book. So I'm not bothered about that on anyway. So let's just delete that, delete that memory, and shift everything up. Okay. Now you can see it's programmed this in as a cross, um, a cross tone mode, and it's got cross mode here, which is tone, CTC. Yeah, anyway, I now that we've copied these from the repeater book into this, let's now upload them. So we go to radio, upload to radio. It's the COM3, the usual, um, the Powerfinger 17 Pro. And we click OK, get the warning, and we click OK again, and there we go. Okay, so it's now writing to the radio, and the radio will now reboot. Okay, so let's just close out of here. No, I don't want to save anything, and go back in, and then let's just read the radio to make sure it's it's readable. Remember, whenever you do this, whenever you first get a radio, always create a backup image before you start messing around with stuff. 
As you can see, there it is. It's all shown up in the radio, in, in the uh, channel listings. The settings are all in here. Browser's all in here. Yeah. Okay. So that's all there. Now, just to show you, in the actual CPS that's designed for this radio. If we go back into here. Go to settings. Com three, and we tell it to read the radio. And it reads it. And finished. And there we go. So there's the, uh, as you can see, there's all the channels there. They're all called, they just call them MC Mama Team Afro. They don't actually label them with the repeater name or the, the call sign for the repeater. But as you can see, here they all are. And there's that RX CTCSS. So it's, it's a receiving CTCSS, but that's not right. Anyway. So I just wanted to show you this connecting, I mean, uh, actually loading up into this, into this radio, uh, so you can see it into the actual CPS itself. But for this, we're going to go back into Chirp. Back into Chirp radio, download it from the radio. Ah, la, 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 la. Right. And we'll wait. Okay, we're back into the radio again. Now then, I am going to plug it. And I'm going to change, as you can see, it's still in VFO mode a minute, but we're going to be using this top one. So I'll push and hold. Channel mode. Now it will let you change into channel mode because there are some channels. So as you can see, we're on the current Mount Seymour, which is channel one, which is, if you look on the screen, is this one. Now if I push and hold, Victor Alpha 7, Charlie Oscar India, just testing, just testing. So you can see Mount Seymour, that whichever one that was, accepted it and retransmitted it. And I have the CTCSS set up as well. Um, now then, if we go to this one, to channel number three. Eight, Oops. one, two, three. Now this is the one with a cross tone. I'm not sure how this is supposed to work, but anyway, watch this. Victor Alpha 7, Charlie Oscar India, just testing a new radio. As you can see, there's green but no sound. Now, after having a bit of a look around and, and actually check up on that radio, I mean on that repeater, I found that this doesn't seem to be right. What I have to change this is this to back to tone. And, oh my God, I forgot what it said it was. I think it was 150. <laughs> oh my God. Um, right, hold on a second. Yeah, it's typical, typical ham fam mess up as usual. So let's back into here again, and let's reread the radio. Reread the radio. Download. Okay. Da, 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 da. Okay. There we go. Oh, it was one fifty six point seven. So I'm going to change that. So if we go to tone, we make that one fifty six point seven. And we leave it like that, and then we upload that back to the radio. And this is channel 3 on this particular list we're dealing with here. Okay, so we're back on, and if now if I push transmit, Victor Alpha 7 read, Victor Alpha 7 Charlie Oscar India just doing a radio check. Now it works, although. Let's wait for that. Yeah, although now now it works. So Mount Frome is it is it is quite a distance from me, and it's not exactly plain terrain. So yeah, it looks like it's another glitch, maybe in the way the data has been stored in the repeater book site. Anyway, as you can see, it's named Mount From. If I switch onto here, you can see it's just if I go to channel. So this one has been set to channel, but only display the frequency. This one has been set to channel, but display the frequency, display the channel name. So we can see that if we go to three, three that's what it's what it's dealing with. That's what it's transmitting on. Or if you want to look at the front, if you want to change that, <clears throat> then you need to do it through the CP. I mean through. Well, I do it through the CPS. I find it easier. But anyway, whatever. 
you plug that into there let's kill chirp and let's load in the actual CPS itself port number three this time and we read let it read in okay and then you go to function and you set it here and this these display functions here <clears throat> so display a which is that one has got a little a there and display display b which is that one got a little b there is this function here so if you drop this down you can see you can have it either displayed as the frequency or the channel number so that's the dis that's the display name uh, the work mode is whether or not is in channel or VA4 mode and the next one this one tells you whether or not you can display name frequency or number and as you can see in this case I put it as frequency in channel mode it can either be well I've just switched it across but you can have it set as VA4 or channel mode so that's where you change that little function there um, yeah so that is a very very basic on how you program the UV25 the beast of a radio that's from Baofeng. Um, next up will be uh, an output test. Um, it's apparently 10 watts, but uh, on the high output, so but we will soon see about that. Anyway, 7 threes, have a good night, and I'll see you all soon. Good night. <laughs>